Hey guys, Roy House here, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. And today, we're going to be managing Happy Tree Prison. Yet again, we're going to ex be expanding it, we're going to be adding cool things to it, and we're also going to be getting more prisoners. And what else can we do? We can stare at Davy's ass crack, for instance, and admire its wonderful pixelation. Nelson's wonderful pixelated nipples. It's beautiful. And this guy needs a suntan. Nice faux hawk, though. Okay. So, without further ado, let's kick this bad boy off, shall we? Alright. I thought I hired a janitor. Have we hired one yet? No, it's getting researched. Okay. We're gonna need one, because as you can see, the chow hall uh, looks like bashed up boiled egg. There's cracks everywhere. And this guy's doing the uh, the rave dance here. He's treating the shower like a mosh pit. Was he? He's bored. Bored in the shower. Everyone's looking at this guy like, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna change some things around with their scheduling here. Their regime. And we're gonna fit some free time into their schedule. Cause this is Happy Tree Prison. It's a wonderful prison. Alright, so the prisoner's gonna have plenty of free time. Plenty of things to do. Alright. So they're all on free time. They're welcome to use the toilets. They're welcome to call their honeys back home and use the weights bench, although I haven't seen any prisoners use the weights, weights bench yet. And then another thing is we figured out how to properly use the metal detectors. So we're going to do that now. Alright. Now they have handcuffs on. I'm wondering what happened. Did they get up in the kitchen? I wasn't paying attention up there. No, no, no. These are the newly arrived prisoners. That's right. Yes. We have three more prisoners here. We have James Griffin, Tim Wood, and Gareth Levers. Okay. And they're going to go ahead and throw them in the holding cells. Okay. Excellent. Let's prepare some more of these prison cells for newly arrived prisoners. And they're gonna need some beds as well, so we'll place the beds. Like so. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Alright, so we have an accountant. And I like to use the accountant because you can look here at the finance tab. You can see what you have incoming, what you have outcoming, maybe what you've been spending too much on. This is a balance sheet if you've ever taken an accounting class before. You can also see the total value of the prison. And you can see here that bricks and mortar is steadily going down. That's the decreased value as bricks and mortar start crumbling and cracking. We can improve this value. I'd like to look at our total here, this total number, as our end game score. And I'm sure once the game's completed, they'll have valuations for everyone's prisons, and it'll probably be uh, massively multiplayer kind of, not massively multiplayer, but uh, viewed online so you can see who has the most expensive prison out there or the largest prison with the most prisoners etc and that's important because later on it kind of brings relevance to having a lawyer also the larger the prison maybe the more income you can generate you can see over here safety and security we have a bonus time without incident of 76 hours no incidents that means nobody's been injured or unconscious or killed, right? So we get this extra bonus for having a tidy, well-run prison. That's excellent. And then over here we have penalties for serious injuries, unsolved murders, and escapes. Those are all very important. And later on, they're, they're probably going to be adding prisoners with very unique, very unique uh, uh, criminal backgrounds, like a serial killer, or a bank robber, or... A, a former prison escapee, things like that. 
So you'll have special convicts that you'll need to keep a better eye on or maybe increase uh, security, etc. for those individuals. Or maybe put them in solitary confinement if they continue to to eat Davy's Davy's earlobes off like like Mike Tyson. Okay? Alright. Alright, so over here we are going to prepare this medical facility. Get rid of these extra walls that we don't need. And we'll come over here to rooms. And once health is finished researching, we'll have the ability to go ahead and place a medical ward. Okay? And we'll also have the ability to hire a doctor. Alright. So we have a psychologist, we have an accountant, we have a foreman, there's our warden, our chief, we have a gardener, we can hire the janitor. I'm going to place him in the chow hall first. Hopefully he will go ahead and repair all this. There he goes. You see the cracks start going away. He's doing a good job. Excellent. And I'm considering hiring uh, one more janitor. Yes, we're going to hire one more janitor because we have an extensive amount of indoor facilities that need repairing. And also at bureaucracy, let's go ahead and see if we can hire or uh, research anybody else here. Nothing that I really see. Uh, I was told that riot guards are useless, um, or you can't even place them yet. I'm not sh quite sure. I haven't done it, but we'll unlock it in the future. I'm not going to unlock it right now, but we are going to hire a lawyer. And most importantly, I'm really waiting for the doctor because the doctor is going to go around and healing these inmates up and our prison guards as well. We don't want our prisoners dying unless it's by our hand, right? Unless the courts themselves say this prisoner must die or be executed, then we'll do it. Alright. So, we had them remove the metal detectors. Now we're ha gonna have them place the metal detectors again. And I believe the metal detectors will detect metal and they'll they'll the, the light will go on if a prisoner walks over it. Okay? I think that's how it works. So let me find the metal detector here. I don't think we can place them there then. Huh. Actually these are two good places to place them, I'm I'm guessing. Right here and right here. Like that. Okay. So we'll see if that works. And we might as well add some brick walls to the sides to make sure that they do pass through our metal detectors. And this guy needs a shower. Hold your horses there, Bucko. Who is that? Tim Wood. He just got here. All right. Now we're going to be creating cell block B. I believe we used up all our grants. Yes, we did. So we're going to be building cell block B. And I'm thinking cell block B is going to be right here. It's going to be pretty large. Let's see. I want to get the exact size that we had here down. That was a 12 by 34. So as long as we keep uh, it at least 12 by 34, we'll have a nice sized block here. There we go. Perfect. That's 12 by 34. And cell block B is also going to have a nice little wing over here. That's going to be 12 by... Let's see here. Uh, now let's make that 12 by 34 as well. So bam. It's going to be cell block B. A huge cell block. Excellent. Alright. And then we're going to need some objects. We'll place a jail door over here. 
We'll also place a jail door over here. Actually, uh, let me see. Let's cancel that one. We'll place it right in the corner like we did with the other one. Okay? Like that. Alright, so we have two jail doors being assembled on these buildings here. It should be fun. Uh, we'll also be placing brick walls like so. And over here as well. Okay. And then we'll open up this. That's going to be a path <clears throat> for prisoners to uh, run down. And then over here we might add another shower or something. I'm not sure yet. And I think we need to add a table to the chow hall. Add a couple tables. Like that. And then we'll throw in a couple benches as well. For the prisoners to sit down on. And last but not least, we're going to put another serving table down. There we go. So now we should have plenty of food for everybody. And I think we'll hire one more cook. Well, we'll see if everybody gets fed before we start hiring another cook. See, these guys are dreaming about being locked up, or being, getting arrested. He's dreaming about being in jail. This guy's, he's dreaming about, who knows, a box, being in a box. So we got quite a few board prisoners here. There's various things we can do for these prisoners who are bored. Let's see. He wants recreation. He wants recreation. Okay. What we can do is maybe we can create a library with a bunch of bookshelves for everybody. Or let's see. Let's look at the rooms. We could create maybe a workshop. Hmm. I've never created a workshop before. Not even sure if it's implemented yet. I have also never created the security room or the morgue. And it doesn't appear that the execution room is enabled yet. This is the alpha state of the game. A lot of things are still being implemented and tested. So it's not a finished, polished product, but some of the features are. The main the mainstay of the game, what we're seeing right now, is polished. It's pretty good. Alright. Excellent. Now, we're going to continue this Let's Play for a while here. We're going to see how many prisoners we can get packed into Happy Tree Prison. And then, uh, for the final uh, episode of this game, which might be uh, a few episodes from now, we're going to let everything go to shit. And we're going to see how fast, how fast we can uh, uh, bring about the downfall of Happy Tree Prison. Okay? Okay. We'll just call it a uh, a massive policy change by the Happy Tree Prison officials. We don't want to have them in the prison anymore. We want to let them frolic in society. That kind of thing, you know? Alright. So they're going to install all the lights. Excellent. And it's still free time. We have lots of free time. If we look at all their needs... Yeah. You see, he's happy because he has a bookshelf. Oh, he just wants some food. Defense, family, recreation. Hmm. Excellent. So, all that is done. We can go ahead and pull down the foundations here for these walls. We no longer need them. We'll pull them down over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's pull them down over here. The whole thing. Alright. Should be good. Pull those down. And 
and we'll get some utilities over here, some power. Now we're also going to need water. Lots of water pipes. Alright. There we go. Getting some power. I love how the power lights up the inside of the buildings. It's awesome. Is everything getting power over here? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Alright, so cell block B is coming up right now. Gotta love our haphazard prison. It's a beautiful thing. And we will be having another eight prisoners arriving in about seven, eight hours. Alright. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a storage facility right here. Yeah. So let's actually build that right now. Go to foundations, we go to buildings. Let's build a storage facility. Alright, so a little storage facility here. And we'll put a door here. The jail door. Alright. So they should be taking down these walls here. Yeah. So that's some progress. They'll get around to it once they're able to. Alright. And it's sleepy time right now. It's sleepy time. This is actually the best time for a prison to to build prisoners out of the way, to clean up the facility, to, main, to maintain it. All the prisoners are locked up, and it's quiet. Huh. See, he's injured, so we can go ahead and hire the doctor now. We'll hire the doctor. We're also going to create the medical ward. Like that. That's our medical ward. We're going to need to place some medical beds, so we'll go ahead and do that. One there, one there, and one there. Okay, so we'll have three medical beds. We can add more later if we need them. And, well, let's see here. What else can we do? Maybe I'll turn this into, instead of a storage, into a recreation room. Do they have anything like that? Medical ward, office, morgue. Workshop, holding cell, kitchen. No, nothing really. Hmm. Because we have things like pool tables and stuff like that. I'm wondering. I am wondering here. What if we placed. Well, let's get the utilities down there first. Utilities! Excellent. Alright. We're gonna need some lights out here so it's not pitch black. I'd rather them play pool than stick a shank in someone's neck or their back. You know what I mean? Oh, we're ready for another round of prisoners. Or are we? We actually need more cell blocks here. Yeah, we do. Crap. So I'll build these cell blocks, and then when I get back, we'll be ready for the next round of prisoners. Okay. So they're going to go ahead and build those cells. Uh, we'll be adding beds and toilets soon. I've added most of the pipe work. Uh, they're going to be adding the walls, so it'll be good. And it's 6 a.m. It's still sleepy sleep time for the prisoners. Let's see. I don't remember when they get up. They should be getting up right now. So, guards are going around waking up the prisoners. Yeah, it's uh, 6.30 a.m. right now. Excellent. And there's not a lot of complaining from these prisoners. 
it's all coming from this tiny little holding cell that we have. You can see a couple of our prisoners here. Uh, they were they were injured, so they were moved to the medical ward. All right. Fun stuff. Yes. So let's connect all these pipes here for the water. Like so. Excellent. Alright, so the workmen will go in there and fix that up, then we'll add the toilets and the beds. And we'll be ready for this large intake of prisoners. Yes. Excellent. Alright. So that's all installed. Let's go ahead and add those toilets. Add the crappas. I've never placed so many toilets in my life. Only in a prison. Alright. There we go. Oh yeah, and we'll have to set them as rooms as well. Alright, so we have prisoners arriving now. Excellent. And we're just out of funds. We're just able to pay for this section of cells for holding block B. Now things are going to get dicey. Because we're out of grant money. We're also low on cash, but we should be able to add a few add a few uh, prisoners here and there. If I turn this into an extra holding cell, we can have a even more spillover. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? We'll add that. Let's see here. Whoa! Whoa! Shower brawl! Naked prisoners fighting each other. This guy has a shank. Holy shit. Here we go. Uh, let's get this guy. Oops, sorry. There we go. Let's have him get searched. He got a shank somehow. Where are the guards? Oh, man. This is going to be a mess. The guards are currently grabbing all of the prisoners outside. Oh, we have a full-blown riot on our hands, guys. Oh man, we're gonna let it go. Let's let them have some fun. These guys are gonna go have some free time. This guy's moving into. Where is he going? Holy shit! Holy shit! Whoa, they're escaping. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we definitely have some design flaws here. We're going into lockdown. Lockdown. One of the one of the prisoners escaped. Holy shit! That was the first time I've ever uh, seen a prisoner escape. <laughs> escaped with a knife. So we definitely have some design flaws in this, right? They like to get out. They like to get out through here. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay, so they like to get out through there, right? So we build it so they can't get out. That's what we'll have to do. It's locked down, baby. It's locked down. Got quite a few unconscious guys. I don't know how many prisoners escaped. But that's cutting into our bottom line. Let's look here. Escapees. A penalty of 240,000. Because four prisoners escaped. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's absolutely crazy. Wow. That's horrible. <laughs> happy tree prison. We need more trees. We need more happy freaking trees for all these prisoners. Oh, man. And I noticed that the door here never shut. I'm considering just taking this door out entirely. No, but that would just... That'd be kind of gamey. We do want some types of doors. Do not... Okay. Okay. So we need to secure everybody. Happy tree prison. What a wonderful prison. 
What's wrong with this place? Happy Tree Prison's in lockdown. We're going to go ahead and call this a Let's Play. I'm Ride House. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also set up a Twitter and a Facebook. So if you guys want to join me there, you can check the links below or on my main channel page where you can keep up to date with more of my activities in the future. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.